In this video, we'll walk you through the entire Freshwater IQ startup process. We highly recommend watching the entire video before you start the setup. Your patience and careful adherence to these instructions will pay off with crystal clear water that will be easy to maintain and enjoy. Freshwater IQ combines two water care innovations, the salt system, which generates chlorine from salt to keep your water naturally fresh and clean, and the smart monitoring system that automatically tests fall water every hour and displays clear instructions when adjustments are needed. To work properly, these systems must be installed in the correct order. If the smart monitoring system is installed before the salt system is operational, it will not provide accurate chemical readings or recommendations. As you begin the step-by-step -step process of filling and setting up a new hot tub, it's critical that the freshwater salt system is fully operational and holding a three parts per million chlorine residual before you activate the smart monitoring system. It may take your salt system several days to maintain the necessary chlorine residual. You will use freshwater five-way test strips to measure chlorine and pH during the startup process. Once the smart monitoring system is operational, you will rely on the control panel readings for these measurements. Here are the items you will need to get started. Freshwater five-way test strips, salt test strips, spa salt, concentrated chlorinating granules, pH alkalinity up, pH alkalinity down, a garden hose, a Phillips head screwdriver, and if required, a freshwater clean screen pre-filter or on-the-go water softener, a Vanishing Act pillow or Vanishing Act XL, and phosphate remover. Let's get started. First, test the fill water. Take a sample of the fill water, the water from the hose, to your local dealer to be tested for metal content, phosphates, and calcium hardness. If the water is not within recommended levels, your dealer can provide products, such as the clean screen pre-filter or on-the-go water softener to treat the fill water as it goes into the hot tub. Let's take a minute to go over the components of the freshwater salt system. The salt system housing and cap is located on the bar top of the spa. It holds the salt system plug or the salt system cartridge and is easily accessible. The salt system plug is the factory insert within the housing. It should not be removed until a salt cartridge is installed. The salt system cartridge contains titanium electrodes that generate active chlorine. With proper water care and balancing, the cartridge lifespan is typically four months. Now insert the salt system cartridge and fill the hot tub. At this point, the hot tub should be turned off. Remove the cap on the bar top of the spa with a twist, then lift it off. Remove the plug inside by pressing the button on the top and lifting it straight up. Insert the new cartridge while pressing the button on the handle. Release the button to lock it, then check that it's securely in place. Once the salt cartridge is installed, it's time to add water. Keep the hot tub powered off during this step. Follow the advice of your dealer, based upon the fill water sample you provided, and use the freshwater clean screen pre-filter and or on-the-go water softener if needed as you fill the spa. Before filling the spa, make sure the salt cartridge is locked into place and the spa's drain cap is screwed on. To prevent air bubbles from getting trapped in the hot tub's plumbing, be sure to fill the hot tub through the standpipe. Simply remove the filter and place the hose into the standpipe. It's easy to recognize. It's the one with the gray cap. Fill the hot tub until the water level is one inch above the highest jet. Power up the hot tub. For this step, please consult the hot tub's owner's manual as the directions vary based on the voltage of the hot tub. If the spa is equipped with a diagnostic logo light located on the front exterior cabinet, it may now be blinking. The water care icon on the control panel may also be blinking. This is normal and indicates that salt has not been added and the water is not yet hot. Once the hot tub is turned on, test the jets by pushing the jets icon on the home screen. Once you've confirmed they are fully operational, you can turn them off. Next, set the temperature to your desired level, at least 95 degrees Fahrenheit to start. Finally, ensure the salt output level is set to zero. 
We'll come back later to adjust this level once the water has been properly sanitized. Balancing the spa water. Using freshwater five-way test strips, check the water for proper calcium, pH, and alkalinity levels. Hard water can damage the hot tub equipment and negatively impact the effectiveness of the salt system. The calcium level should fall between 25 and 75 parts per million. If you need to treat calcium levels, use the appropriate Vanishing Act pillow. Then, wait 24 hours and check the calcium level again using a five-way test strip. If it's still above 75 parts per million, repeat the previous step. Repeat until the calcium level is between 25 and 75 parts per million. Once the calcium level is adjusted, balance the pH and alkalinity as needed. Always have your jets running when adding chemicals and ensure all chemicals are added through the filter compartment. After you've confirmed the water is balanced with a five-way test strip, use a freshwater phosphate test strip to test for phosphate levels. Phosphate levels must be less than 300 parts per billion with a target of 150 parts per billion. If the water has a phosphate level of 300 parts per billion or higher, follow the directions on the freshwater phosphate remover bottle to reduce the phosphates. It's important to clean the spa's filters every day for three days after using phosphate remover to remove the phosphates trapped in the filters. Adding salt. Once you've balanced the water and checked the phosphate levels, you're ready to add salt. Check the hot tub's owner's manual for the gallon or liter capacity of the model. Then, refer to the salt bag to determine how much salt you need. To avoid oversalting the water, start off by adding half the recommended amount using the scoop from the kit. Pour the salt directly into the filter compartment, one cup at a time, with the jets running. Allow about five minutes for the salt to dissolve. Use freshwater salt test strips to measure the salt level. If there is less than 1,750 parts per million, repeat the same process, adding one cup of salt at a time until you reach 1,750 parts per million. Sanitizing the water. One of the most important steps during the initial setup is to get an instant chlorine reading of five parts per million. Use your control panel to activate the clean cycle to circulate the spa water for 10 minutes. Then add chlorine directly to the filter compartment with the jets running. Refer to the dosage recommendations on the chlorine bottle. While the clean cycle is running, rotate the smart jet diverter lever through both operating positions, letting the water circulate for equal periods of time. Then measure the chlorine level with a freshwater five-way test strip. Your chlorine should be at five parts per million. If it's less than that, repeat the process. Then wait five minutes and test again. Repeat until you reach five parts per million. Activating the salt system. Navigate to the water care menu on the control panel and adjust the salt output level to 10. The output level controls how many hours per day the freshwater salt system will create chlorine. You'll start with a level of 10, which means the system will run 24 hours a day. Once the salt system is fully operational and holding a three parts per million chlorine residual, you can adjust the output level down based on spa usage. The freshwater salt system will now start generating chlorine on its own. After 24 hours, check the water with a freshwater five-way test strip to ensure a residual chlorine level of at least three parts per million has been maintained. If the chlorine level has dropped below three parts per million, manually add chlorine to reach five parts per million. Repeat this process daily until the chlorine level is holding a three parts per million residual from the previous day's dose. The time from starting the freshwater salt system to achieving a three parts per million chlorine residual may be several days. Your actual chlorine target may vary if you are outside of the United States. Setting up the smart monitoring system. Again, let us remind you that it's important that you do not begin the freshwater smart monitoring system startup process until the salt system is holding a three parts per million chlorine residual. Once the salt system is fully operational, you'll take these simple steps to set up the smart monitoring system. 
1. Review this video and the Smart Monitoring System's Owner's Manual for a successful setup process. 2. Install the Freshwater Smart Monitoring System controller and replaceable sensor. 3. Turn on the system. The Freshwater Smart Monitoring System includes the following components. The Startup Kit, which includes a pre-assembled controller and replaceable sensor. The factory-installed plug that protects the system wiring from getting wet. Do not remove the plug until you're ready to install the controller and sensor. A bar top accessible housing that holds the smart monitoring system controller and sensor and allows for easy replacement. The factory installed handle with a cable that connects internally to the spa. Once you're ready to install the smart monitoring system, turn off the power to the spa. When the power is off, rotate the smart monitoring system cap counterclockwise and lift up to remove. Rotate the smart monitoring system plug counterclockwise to unlock and lift out. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screw and separate the plug from the handle. Remove the smart monitoring system from the packaging. Fit the pre-assembled controller and sensor to the handle and replace the screw. Align the arrow on the handle to the unlock position. Fully insert into the housing, push down and rotate clockwise to the lock position. Replace the smart monitoring system cap and turn clockwise to tighten. The freshwater smart monitoring system is now installed. Power on the hot tub and wait 10 minutes. Check to verify that the salt system is working and that the smart monitoring system has populated the salt, sensor life and cartridge life indicators by pressing the water care icon on the SPA's control panel. The smart monitoring system will begin providing recommendations for chlorine and pH in 24 hours. Remember, the freshwater smart monitoring system readings will not be accurate unless the salt system has been installed correctly and is fully operational. Here are some do's and don'ts for a successful installation. Do treat your spa water for metals and calcium before beginning the startup process. Maintain your water within target parameters. Use freshwater five-way, salt, and phosphate test strips during the salt system startup process to measure chlorine, pH, calcium hardness, phosphate, and salt levels. Make sure the salt system startup process is complete before installing the smart monitoring system. Continue to use freshwater five-way test strips to test for calcium hardness and alkalinity levels every 10 days. Continue to manage phosphate levels monthly with phosphate test strips and freshwater phosphate remover. Don't. Don't use freshwater mineral spa sanitizer or other silver nitrate products. If silver nitrate products were used, drain and refill the spa and complete the full startup process for the salt system and smart monitoring system with a new smart monitoring sensor. Don't install ozone. Don't use bromine or MPS products. If bromine was used, drain and refill the spa and complete the full startup process for the salt system and smart monitoring system. If MPS products were used, discontinue use and wait one week before resuming use of the Freshwater Smart Monitoring System. We wish you great success with your Freshwater IQ startup. For more details, please refer to the Salt System and Smart Monitoring System Quick Start Guides and Owner's Manuals, available at hotspring.com.